in the Pondalese. Babe's a little sunburned out. Well, we wanted to film this on day one, but we've been having too much fun that now we're on day... Day infinity. No. <laughs> Whatever um, we're really leaving it going on. Day six. Day six in Belize, day three. Here in, in this, this hotel. A magical private island that everyone in the world should put on their bucket list and their vision board to come to because it is spectacular. It really is. So we are at this place called Cayo Espanto and it's actually rated one of the top 100 hotels in the world and our amazing travel agent set us up to come here. Um, what's cool about this island is there is only you know, six total bungalows or villas on this place and all of them are definitely, right on the ocean like this. Definitely villas. One is a bungalow that's over the water. Ours comes out, we're in our infinity pool and then there's a dock that you can see that goes out that way. But we are off the coast, like right off the side of San Pedro, but this is its own private island. We literally took a helicopter. They have a landing pad. That's it. Here, there's no vehicles on this island. There's there's a couple of the villas. There's an area to cook the food. A small little shack. I don't even think you could, like, even if you had no, a you vehicle can. on this there's, island, there's not even no, really have to it's all drive sand. It's all sand, yeah. and you guys will see that again in another video. But this has been incredible. And something that Jeff and I love to do is we love to set big goals. It doesn't even matter if we hit them financially, almost like work ethic goals, month to month, quarter to quarter, to make sure we reward ourselves with something we love to do. And we love experiences. We yeah. love going away to different countries and just meeting new people, trying new things, trying service and food and we swam with sharks today. Oh my goodness, talk about a fear. And this island, something that's cool about it is it's not necessarily just all about like the luxury accommodations. Yeah, the bungalows are amazing. They're really beautiful. They're right on the water, but like in the inside, they're pretty basic. It's a bed and it's got a bath and these different things, but it's all about the service. I mean, they come to your room every single morning and ask you, what do you want for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What time would you like it? Oh, you don't like what's on the menu? We can make whatever you want. Whatever you want. So for example, tonight is a <laughs> shrimp risotto, a filet mignon, and then I said, can I have some extra crispy french fries on the side? And last night, we kind of made a joke that we wanted, we love cookies, and on top of this amazing, oh, like of Michelin of star dessert, yeah. like a peanut butter, peanut butter banana chocolate ice cream sandwich, sandwich with, with car caramelized bananas oh. on top, with then, um, it was like a funnel cake, what, what like a beignet funnel a cake beignet, on the side with word. bananas. Yes, on the side, and then all of a sudden they pull up four warm chocolate chip cookies, and you know your girl. You know your girl, even when she's full and she can't breathe, she always has room for that cookie. But just to, well, show, well. just to show where their service is top notch, on top of that, not only did they remember that we like the cookies, then when we get on our dive boat today, we go out into the ocean, I do a dive, she snorkels, we swim with sharks, we get out of the boat. Swim with sharks and I'm and definitely exhausted and definitely dehydrated. And there's four warm <laughs> chocolate chip cookies waiting for some, oh, some drinks. Yeah. It was quite amazing, and the service is spectacular as well. Amazing, amazing. I can't wait to show you guys how they did dinner last night, and they raked the sand and drew flowers in the sand around our table. It's just been incredible. But instead of painting this perfect fantasy picture that our life is just like this, and maybe we fell into a trust fund or hit the lottery, you know. All of which would be nice, but not the case. Hey, manifesting <laughs> yeah. it, manifesting it. Can we, we get an amen? Lottery, well, lottery. Well. <laughs> uh, I think it's important for you guys to know that I, we, we both are entrepreneurs, but Jeff is full-time a corporate executive and he'll, he'll share more of that and we have in other videos, but like how does he get time off to do this or like how do we afford to do this? And I think it's really important that we just go into, you know, the boundaries we set up for not just our lives to make sure we're living yeah. a good life. I think a lot of us live to work instead of work to live. Okay. And our motto over the past couple of years of being together before we met, I, I can say for myself, I was always living to work. Like, what can I do next? What goal? Like, like I never turned off and I definitely learned the burnout. Burnout is real. And I think many of you watching this right now 
probably have the same feeling, whether in their corporate life or entrepreneurial life, or you're in the corporate life trying to step into the entrepreneurial life, and now you're working several jobs at the same time, and trust me, you know, Jeff is there, and I, I think we should really speak on that in this video of just like, how do we take off seven days and travel the world? You know, our honeymoon was in Africa for fucking 21 days. 21, right there. Whatever it was. And a couple key things that, that Sam talked about that allow us to do this is one, we hustle hard. And our kind of philosophy is hustle for a quarter, enjoy for a week or two weeks, right? So we go hard. When we hustle, it is nonstop grind season, and we go for it and execute on our business goals and objectives. But what ma what makes you hustle hard? Uh, the fact that we get to then go and enjoy these things, right? Yeah. This is the you outcome of it. You guys have to have a, a goal, right? Yeah. Like a, a purpose. Like what makes you work really hard for us? Spending a nice amount of money on a really nice vacation and having experiences together make us continue to hustle hard even on the days. And there's a lot of days we don't yeah. we don't want to. Like we don't feel right, we don't have energy. What makes us hustle hard is the life, the dreams we want to live in this one life. That's what pushes us. So what pushes you? That's like the first thing you want to think about. And the second thing that we do really well is we set boundaries. Both in when we're in work mode, her and her business, me when I'm working with my groups that I work with, but it's about setting boundaries about how do you work with us and how do we work with you and setting those expectations and holding people accountable to those expectations. So there's that trust and that respect on both sides, which then ties into when we're on these amazing vacations, we get to enjoy them. Yeah, we might check in an email here and there or a text message, but people know that this is our time and they really allow us to have it. And then... How do you get off? How do you... Because you're in club world, right? As an entrepreneur, I can technically set my hours, even though, just so you know, the best thing about being an entrepreneur is you become your own boss. And the worst thing and the hardest thing about becoming an entrepreneur is that you are your own boss and learning how to set those boundaries and making ends meet in those boundaries so that you can turn off and enjoy. It's taken me nine and a half years as an entrepreneur to know how to do that. But for the corporate life, how I, can I, you... I personally, I prefer the corporate life. I love of what happens within corporations, billion dollar corporations that we get to be a part of. And for me, it's the same thing. It's, it's about setting the boundaries up front like we were talking about. And it's about having that mutual respect and more importantly, being confident in the role that you're playing. No matter what role you are, no matter what level you're at in your career, but when you're confident and you execute and people know they can trust you, then you have the ability to set these boundaries that gives you that trust back and forth. And the last piece is how to build really good teams. Sam and I both corporate world, both in the uh, entrepreneur world, but we have amazing teams that we work with, not for us, that we work with, that we're partners with, which means that we get to build businesses, we get to build teams, we get to build companies when we're there, which also means that when we're on vacation, we trust our teams to work while we're gone and do things just as we would. How does that work for you in the entrepreneurial world? Well, not only do I hire really good people to surround me with a bunch of things that aren't happening in the workplace, so to keep the workplace flow, everything else in my life has to be afloat, but I've also really learned how to, to build the people. And when you build the people, the people build the team or your business automatically. And there really is a saying, the more people you serve, you help earn income for themselves, the more income you will automatically earn for yourself. And I think when you stop being selfish and you become selfless, year after year, month after month, and you set goals with them, automatically your goals are gonna be hit. So if you're thinking right now, like how can I be better? How can I grow my business? Why is my business so stagnant? How can I push forward and get to the next level? Are you being selfish or selfless? Are you building the people and teaching the people how to build the team or build the business? And if you're not doing those things, really reevaluate and see how you can get better because I'm telling you that is the missing piece. It's changed my life forever. And now we get to just, I mean, we're, we still work hard. We're gonna get home, we're gonna work hard again. Next quarter and then go on to the next one. And dream about your next goal on your amazing experiences like this. Like we're dreaming about going to Indonesia and doing Bali and this like top resort in the whole world that we've been thinking about for a while this October. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come home from this trip and we're gonna grind it out. We're gonna set micro goals and a macro goal. And then we're gonna celebrate ourselves the next quarter, which is October, um, which is
which is really exciting. But, you know, if you guys have enjoyed this video or other, other videos and our stories and following along with our journey of the house always wins, so your house wins too, make sure you like this, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share it with someone who needs to hear this. We love you. We believe in you. We believe in you. It's unbelievable. And we will see you next time.